That's right. We're just uh, this is Glenn, fellow picker. Be not trail wall. Pick a few shrooms this time. I know Glenn mostly from the pine picking. He's his lovely assistant. Enjoy. <laughs> and so, so, you know, we're just doing a little story here on the mushroom. We're home growing from the mushroom picker's eyes. We haven't got to the mushroom level yet. <laughs> Let me see the blade coming. <laughs> <laughs> so we're up here doing what we're doing, basically. I'm going to find a few shrooms, make a few bucks, have a good time. I'm going to stay at the political stew. And the bar, yeah. And the bar. Yeah. Mostly the political stew, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. Keep it to ourselves and tip our shrooms and yeah. don't tell nobody. Set our people free. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> cool, right on. So I don't know. That's where I go. Go down, go down and go in there and spend a day finding out what's going on. And I know you're going to get mushrooms. Yeah. No, I would think on it. This 40 mile, I tell you, there's mushrooms over there. But it's steep ground. Like you go on the top, right? And you go down. You go down to the bottom. And there's a big valley. And when you're on top, you look down. And you can see. Last year, my operations. So, if you can get up in there and on the steep slopes, I'm going to get mushrooms. And I know on the top, on the north side, there's mushrooms. Because I heard from Sean, who's doing the geology work over there. Oh, yeah. They pick, you can pick it over. They smell so good. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, 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 yeah. The Canada does. Yeah, it does. <laughs> I, I do think Jim are too. <laughs> yeah. Gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> Because you're down low and the fire burns up your side. Like I don't think any point in going on top of the hill and picking there because you're in the middle of nowhere. And sun, you gotta get in the shade right now. Yeah, right. Heavy spruce so you can get the shade of you know, get up the sun and, and that's where your mushrooms are gonna be anyway. Yeah. Yeah. You can see big trees there though, eh? Oh yeah. You can see it on your side, man. It's just like cool, oh, man. Look at that. When you see it, you're going to say, now there's where the mushrooms are. And I can drive right through it, right down to the... Uh, well, well no, not right wait. through it, down to the... Pistol. I haven't really been up that valley, but I looked down and I saw activity in the bottom. Oh, yeah. So your rig, I think, you know, I went over there with Judy, went in there, tried to get in there, but like, she's a new truck, right? Yeah. And, you know, she don't know how to drive it. There must so. be a mine, right? It's like a big deal, both of them. So that's 50 pounds each, that's nothing. I mean, in some of these areas, you know, access. It's a walk and pick. It's not picking. Yeah, it's a walk and pick. That's right. Yeah, we found it once. We hit this gully, and we picked naturals up. It's pretty good. And then we went up to pick the ridges. And three days later, I looked down that same gully, and there was a whole big flush in three days. And that was a good pick. The second flush come on real good, conicus, after the natural. Yeah. But there's such small trees and no green and the ground's so dry now, there's nothing in it. Tell us what you're doing today. Well, after talking with you, Marcus, I think we'll go and look for those big trees with the canopy. I'm pretty sure they're there too. We'll get them. We don't, guys. Okay, Julie, come on. Stay. <laughs> I've had enough interviews this year. <laughs> <laughs> but not on camera. <laughs> David Aurora is going to have some bear stories. Oh, cool. <laughs> bear stories, eh? Hey, David. <laughs>